bueno. Mommy's tired. And it's mommy's birthday. Should we go set up downstairs? Should we go set up downstairs? You gonna help your daddy? You gonna help daddy? The biscuit's coming. The biscuit's coming to help. Come on then, let's go downstairs. Oh, good girl, Blue Bell. Good girl kissing your brother. That doesn't happen often. Come on, let's go. Come on in. Good morning guys. God, this is taking me back a little bit. I remember uh, starting vlogs in this same spot. I'm tired, so I'm trying to use all the natural light I can to make myself look a little bit less tired. Just woken up. There's little Bisky boy. The dogs have just gone out for a wee. And as you may or may not know before clicking on this video, it is Megan's birthday. She's 27, so I've, uh, I've got some bits sorted already. She's still in bed, I thought I'd give her a little bit of a lie. And she's been saying recently that she's feeling super tired when she wakes up. I think it's the, uh, it's the baby. It's the bump growing. I feel a little, little baby kicking in the night, pretty much every night, which is really nice. Um, so I thought I'd let her a few more minutes sleep whilst I come down and finish setting up. So as you can see, I've got a couple balloons up there. We've got some presents there, which Biscuit's guarding. <laughs> um, I've got some flowers. I'll turn it around to show you guys, actually. So I've got these flowers. This is actually, this bouquet is actually from the same place that we got the flowers for the baby reveal uh, shoot that we did with Lizzie. So we've got some pictures and the place that we get them from is just amazing. I think we'll tag them if Megan wants to tag them. I'll let her tag them. Um, and look at that, amazing. And I've got some other bits like wrapping paper, I've got some balloons which I need to blow up, my cheeks are gonna be on fire after that, and a card from me which I still need to write, so let's do it. So this feels a bit weird because I don't know where to look. <laughs> I'm on my phone because Niall's got my camera, I think. I actually left it next to the bed to start filming myself this morning, but he's taking it to film. <laughs> and I've been summoned to stay here while he does some things downstairs. So me and the bubs are having morning cuddles. Kind of knew he was planning something because he was like, I need to do some things in the morning. So don't go in the kitchen. Wasn't allowed last night either. So when I wanted my digestive biscuits, I had to ask him to go get them for me. Because <laughs> there was things I wasn't allowed to see. But um, snuggling in bed, it's my birthday. <laughs> I feel like birthdays are never quite as birthday-ish as you get older, but it's my birthday. I'm excited. Oh, oh God, I can't hold this phone like a vlogging camera. It's not as easy because I keep blocking some of it with my hand. <laughs> sunny day as well. I was really hoping it was going to be sunny because, oh, can you see? I don't know how you do this on the phone. Oh, there we go. Hi, Bobby. You listening? How are you? I was hoping it was going to be sunny because it's been a little bit grey every day recently. So that's lovely. But apparently we have a day planned apparently i have an itinerary which he told me last night because he wanted to print it and the printer wouldn't work <laughs> and um yeah good morning i hope you're all okay happy new vlog i'm guessing niall will be vlogging too because he has the camera so <laughs> i just wanted to say my good morning as well because as as i always do we're gonna spend some of today together and some of the rest of the week together, but I'm excited. So another little thing which I did, which I thought would be a nice little touch was right at Megan's birthday itinerary. So I planned the whole day out from waking up to going to bed, 8.30, wake up and cuddle, kiss the bum. I'm gonna go and do that now. Knock, knock. Happy birthday, yeah. my beautiful pregnant wife. <laughs> pregnant wife. Here's a birthday cup of tea. It's the last birthday without baby girl. I'm not used to this vlogging stuff, by the way. <laughs> I know, I was Good luck. What are you doing, Tanner? Good luck editing these clips up. But. Oh, 
No, it's going to be even better because you'll be bringing me tea with her. Yeah, I'll get little baby to bring it up. Well, like we can say the gender now, actually, can't we? Baby girl. Baby girl. Baby girl like you. Another baby girl. Maybe she'll be as beautiful as you. I'm sure she will. She'll still look quite like maybe a bit more human. Um, right, you've got your first birthday kind of gift in your email inbox. In my email. Check your, check your emails. Oh, you put emojis on it. <laughs> put it up the other way. The other way. I've already showed them, so I won't go through it again. Okay. By oil massage. <laughs> yeah. I thought you'd like that. Love Island in bed. Strawberries and chamomile tea. What do you reckon, Blue? Oh, I don't know what she wants. What do you want? It's <laughs> a cuddle, didn't she? It's all about you, isn't it, bub? You naughty girl. Here she is. <laughs> da, 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 da. The birthday girl. Aww. Really nice. I like the colours. Pastel. Bit of blue. Lilacs, you know. They're so nice. Oh, she told me they it's a particular thing that they've got. What is? Like a style that they you know they have like you can get this or you can get this. What is it called? I can't remember. Uh, Maybe it says, it might say on the label. They're so nice. I love like um light coloured flowers. I explained that it's the same place where we got the baby reveal flowers from yeah and pops flowers when when pop dies oh yeah they do the best flowers there <laughs> that's all you need there's a little card thank you you don't have to read it out i'll put some music on mum <laughs> all i read was the box here and i thought it was from you <laughs> what oh right what does it say tell them <laughs> p.s sorry i licked my willy a lot <laughs> I don't lick my willy a lot. I don't know. If, I, I think it's a bit impossible for me to do that. I'm not, not. You, on the other hand. <laughs> skims, my favourite at the moment. Maybe he's obsessed with skims at the moment. It's good because it's stretchy and comfy on my belly. Thank you. Is that like mocha? mocha? Yeah, I guess it is actually. It's kind of like a um, nudie latte. Nude latte? Nudie oh. latte. Niall got me one, um, a top this, like this for Christmas, didn't you? And I wear it all the time, so thank you for that. Baggy uh, jumper. Yeah, baggy jumper day. Or well, if you've got a big bump, it'll hopefully fit over the bump. <laughs> I like baggy jumpers. It's right? from a cool so. shop, so I feel like that. Is it? Yeah. What's he talking about Nike? <laughs> no, but, no, it's not from Nike. Well, it obviously is from Nike. It's a place called Hip. It's very hip. One of those indie shops that you see get yeah. ads for on Instagram. Yeah, and I thought they, the women on there look cool, so maybe you look cool, you know? Oh, they're nice. They're cool, aren't they? They're really nice, thank you. Pink. They're very in at the moment, aren't they? 550s. But they've all got them on Love Island, haven't they? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I like the pink though because um, my ones are green and black, which are a bit more boyish, and these are a bit more. Yeah. I'm having a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Everybody thought on Instagram everything I say, if it's blue, <gasps> it was a boy. Yeah. If it's pink, oh, it's a girl. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's nice. Is it my mum? My mum has made that. I think it's a book of or pictures of grandma. Oh, it's lovely. Isn't it, Ethan Grandma? Maybe that'll be You had a girl. big head, didn't you? <laughs> oh, that's so cute, because she's obviously got all the old pictures. Oh, that's a nice picture. Mm. Look. Oh, I'll have to text my mum. Yeah, that's, that's such a really a nice, nice present. present. <laughs> that's when she was drunk at Christmas all the time. Oh, my favourite, Julian. I think I out Julian myself at Christmas because I actually started to go off them because I got given three boxes. No, really? <laughs> yeah, They're from quite sort of Your sick, mum, yeah. my mum, and That's myself. Fair. Wouldn't you say it's something's your favourite? Oh, look, she's painted on the name for yeah. her room. You guys can't see it. My mum's basically, these were the book stops that I had when I was little. Look, she's got butterflies on the back. They're really nice, actually. They are really nice. Um, and she's like, Jazz them up with her painting, and underneath my hand is the name. <laughs> See, look at such a little chunk. Biscuit boy. Oh, he knows his name so well, doesn't he? Yeah. Biscuit. 
Oh, he actually came upstairs for a cuddle last night, didn't he? Oh, look at him. He came up for Let's a cuddle. Get... Right, so how are we doing on the itinerary? Not quite sure of the cuddles yet, are you? But I'm going to get done. 10am. Dog... About to pop. Oh, we're on time. About to pop. I only just realised what they said. Not quite home. I didn't even get that on purpose. <laughs> Did you not? No. <laughs> I just thought so they were got balloons. Got, you've got a few weeks left. Imagine but... if you weren't pregnant, you'd be super offended now. <laughs> Guys, I am just <laughs> getting myself ready to go for lunch and this is the first time I've put on like fitted round the waist jeans since growing a bump. Like I've been wearing my really really baggy cargo jeans but I haven't put on any that usually fit round my waist and I just thought I'd see and I'm not sure this is going to be working because once I've had some lunch as well... <laughs> We're gonna be squashed. So I think, yeah, the time has come where we're not gonna be able to wear our usual jeans anymore for a while. <laughs> These are really stretchy jeans too, so I'm quite surprised, but no, <laughs> I'm gonna to have to swap them and go get the other ones out of the wash. But yeah, we are about to head out to have some lunch. I'm not sure where we're going yet, but it's on my itinerary. <laughs> and we are also going to do some baby shopping I think do you know what we haven't really done any baby shopping I don't really know why but I just haven't got around to kind of looking at baby things together yet so I'm really looking forward to doing that because I feel like it might be a little bit emosh and I don't know just really cute I think we're going to a little town called Winchester which is really really lovely but I'm pretty sure they've got some really nice baby shops like there's one called Jojo Mama and Bee or something I'm not actually in the know with these shops that much yet, but my best friend talks about that shop and it's quite like, I don't know, a little bit less common than the usual shops you see, but they have it there because it's quite like a little oldie town. So I'm excited to have a look in there and have a look for some baby girl things. So I'm going to bring you guys anyway because I just thought it'd be a nice little thing to get on camera for the mems <laughs> yeah i was just picking my outfit obviously the jeans are going to change but i also ordered myself this little puffer jacket the other day i did order it in my usual size but because it's such a crop puffer jacket my usual size was literally just under my boob <laughs> so i've gone up a few sizes and i think it works like that because although it's still cropped it's not like below the boob <laughs> But I feel like this is really cute and it's quite different and very... Oh my god, I need to change my jeans, please ignore. I'm also going to pull this down and have it kind of look like a bodysuit too so that the bell is covered. But yeah, I feel like it's very springy. It's from ASOS if any of you guys are interested. I'll pop the link in the description box and it was on sale. So yeah, anyway. The Come on, be a proud vlogger. Get it up there <laughs> where the light's good. I'm so embarrassed. Never heard Mamma Mia on the trumpet, I have to say. 150 yards away. Jojo, Mamma and Well, me. you've heard it on a saxophone, haven't you? You know why? Because our wedding day. The wedding. Ollie OG oh, sax. Mamma Mia, the album will always remind me of Pax or something. Wedding. <laughs> Right. I don't want it at all. 150 yards away. He's playing for my birthday. No, he knew. <laughs> he was playing before you even walked onto the street. I know. Anyway, hello guys. We are in Winchester, which is a super cute little town. It's very oldie, if you can kind of see it. Thinking. Did you just cut me off? <laughs> I was about to say, I know what some of you eagle eyed viewers are thinking right now. Hang on a minute, why are they not sat in the. Sat, oh no, I didn't even say, so we're going to go to the Ivy for lunch. They were thinking, why are we not sat having you... lunch right now? Why are we shopping? It's all, it's, the itinerary's fucked, basically. It's a waste of time. <laughs> we're going in here. Yeah, there are little strawberries on the bottoms too. No, that's such a cute little set. Baby girl is not going to be beige. She's going to be bright, bold, and beautiful. What age is that, then? And strawberry if I <laughs> like, hey, girl, do you know what? The whole time you're in my tummy, I ate 
two packs a day of these. Six to 12 months that and is. And you're basically a strawberry. Emma Jane. <laughs> She's got a lot of bras. Look how cute these little baby are. Not quite skims, is it? Not that I wouldn't love a little boy too, but getting little pink things for a little girl is so fun. That's so cute too, don't you think? That's not so nice. Oh yeah. The little hat. No, that's cute, isn't it? And they got butterfly. Look, it's like a girly Arlo. <laughs> the film, isn't it? It's got little things hanging off. Marlo. I want to dress her quite nineties, like my mum used to dress me. <laughs> that is cute. Is that Some 90s? Some people would hate that because it's not that cool. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> little dinosaur feet. <laughs> oh god, that is really cute. Yeah. Imagine little booties on our morning walks. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. And these ones, I actually really like. Little dinosaurs. Dinosaur. Go on then. Let's go home and watch porn. Let's go home and get pissed and watch porn. Niall just said to me, should we just go and get drunk? I was like, well... We have one problem here. <laughs> I'm getting pissed at watch. <laughs> <laughs> what's this, what's the crack with this bubble tea stuff then? Come yeah, on. there is bubble tea everywhere. I've never tried it though. There's another one. There's one every 10 feet. Well, Winchester's Sound like hit, an old mate. man, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, if you don't know what that, um, what's it called, saying is it's from. It's not a reference to anything. That's just my suggestion. And it's like, cute. Talking about it before she started filming this clip as well. Oh, I'm not allowed a wine. I miss so much. Let's get drunk right. and watch porn. No, I think he says piss. Let's go and get pissed and watch porn. <laughs> uh, if I could, I would. The, the pissed Where are you bit. Going? <laughs> ah, <he's out>. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, this is a good question. Any pregnant people out there, right? Do you miss wine? I miss it so bad. Because I miss a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna get drunk so on your birthday for you. Yeah, you can. I want you guys not to. Not now, because I've got to drive home, but. I want you guys to, and me and Bri will be in the corner with our nose. <laughs> me, Lizzie, Sam. Even Carl said he might have a drink. Did he really? Yeah. People when they're pregnant, like, oh, it's been so nice. Like, I just feel like it's been nice to be, you know, not, not having wines and not having any alcohol. <laughs> I can't relate. No. I miss it. Do you know Anyways, what I did the other day as well? What? Ready for um, summertime, didn't I? What? Got a little bar. Oh God, I'm not excited about that because it's just going to be me. I'm not your, I'm not your personal cocktail maker. Yes, you are. It'll be Nile. virgin mojitos, and then the the clocks will switch. Bub will be here, and it'll be alcoholic Nile. mojitos. <laughs> Mojito, please, wait up. No, I saw this. I saw this really cute little mini bar thingy on um, Argos last year and it was still there and I was like, before it sells out. No, it does look pretty cool to be fair. It does, it's like so a little I've shack. Got, we have a good summer. Yeah, but yeah. You could we, have brought the sun out for your birthday as well. We're gonna but, have yeah. a lockdown summer, I can feel it. Not lockdown summer, but like the weather. Look, oh right. <laughs> you know the weather, that was the best I was trying to do weather. a bit of a throwback to lockdown <laughs> with uh, the Eggs Royale and Moana. Yeah, that's what that on was. the itinerary. And you didn't have your your no seco. No, that itinerary was a bloody waste of time. No, no, we'll, gone shopping we'll carry it. On. <laughs> we'll carry it on when we get home. You, anyway. you worked up a bit of an appetite now. Kind of. I've just got a bit of a sicky preg belly at the moment. Your belly's looking pretty big yeah, yeah. today. <laughs> it's popping out. It's so only <laughs> you're it's chopping. You look like Barney Gumble. <laughs> You've been watching too many, too many episodes of The Simpsons. Yes. Are asleep. That is so. I can see. Look I at know it. it's Let popping through. No, it's embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. It was. You pulled it down. It was. Yeah, like I that did just. Really sad. <laughs> this I was tucked in nice and tight, but these jeans, are the only jeans that fit me right now. <laughs> Love the new boobs, though. <laughs> can I have a feel? This can I feel? <laughs> oh god, we literally stood in the middle of a high street and trying to touch your big yeah, boobies. <laughs> yeah. They're not going to let us in the ivy anymore. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, now you're going to make me look like a. <laughs> you are. Look at him. How rude. What does he do? He gets a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. 
rude. Just because you're having a baby doesn't rude. mean you have to try and turn into a groom. <laughs> I'm having an absolute TV. This wasn't in the plan, but... <laughs> that looks like um, this from the Santa Claus film. You can, I should have thought of that afternoon too. Yeah, that's a good thing to do with. My mum always brings on about afternoon tea. It's still with him. So it was theirs that made me want it. <laughs> I don't want to film this. All, these all the people down there have got towers and they look really good. Depending on the menu, you've got your sweets, you've got your scones, you've got your sandwiches. And there you go, there's my afternoon tea menu man. No, I was just saying because the the person just described what each one was and I can't remember now but we've got sweets up here, scones and my faves and our sarnies. Three, two, one, pose. <laughs> Good evening everybody. I am sat on the sofa with my strawberries. <laughs> Me and I were just laughing because we um, picked up that little strawberry newborn outfit earlier and I just had this sudden moment of just thought that I feel like would be so cute. I feel like it would be a really cute outfit to bring to the hospital as a first little coming home from the hospital fit. <laughs> Do you know what we need as well? <laughs> this hat. Oh my gosh, imagine I gave birth to a strawberry because I ate so many during the pregnancy. I won't focus on me now. Oh, we're back in the room. Um, yeah, because I ate so many during pregnancy. I've had like one to two of these a day. I gave birth to a strawberry. <laughs> But also she would look so cute in that. <laughs> I might have to get that little Etsy hat because, oh, that would be so cute, wouldn't it? With the little strawberry fit. Oh. Uh, anyway, we're home. I think Niall's upstairs doing something and then we're going to watch something on the telly. I might actually bring the duvet down from the bedroom. That's kind of like my favourite ever thing to do. Every year I say to Niall, like, that's all I want to do is sit on the sofa with the duvet and him and the dogs and obviously Biscuit now too, and just have like bed on the sofa, like do it on the sofa, you know what I mean? I feel like it's the best thing ever. Next Sunday, do it. <laughs> Tell me that it isn't the best thing ever because I just feel like it's the best. Anyway, we are gonna do that. And I think we might have some cake. I think we might have some pasta as well. I might actually leave this vlog here for today and pick you up tomorrow afternoon when I get back from London which will just be me and you actually because Niall is going to see the Arsenal match tomorrow night so he won't be about so let's go and say bye to him on this vlog Arsenal oh. Arsenal Arsenal here he Arsenal. is my amazing hub thank oh, you for making my else. lovely day what <laughs> there might be one more clip left. <laughs> Look at you, you little cardi. See what, ask them what they think. What do you think? <laughs> I wanted a cardigan. And this is it. <laughs> you look cute, don't you? Thank you. You look cute. Getting ready for that dad life. <laughs> you are dressing more and more like a dad by the day. Oh no, I just blew out one of the candles. <laughs> the vlog's on as well. Sorry, vlog. Vlog. Sorry. <laughs> right, here we go. Happy birthday, dear Megan. Happy birthday to you. Oh, I practiced that for so long earlier as well. 
There you go, my darling. Uh, Basil, I off. I it 21. <laughs> I was like, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! That was good timing. Megan's mum came on FaceTime just as I was going to do the cake. Oh, thank you, you. Now this is a chocolate cake from the local bakery. And I asked for them to put these brookies on top as well. Oh, did you? So they're it's a brookie cake. So they're brownie cookies, mum. Ma uh, brownie cookies. So it's like a combination between a brownie and a cookie. <gasps> and they sell them at the bakery and they're like the favourite thing that um, Megan does. So I asked them. Megan does? That, that Megan, that Megan does. Good evening, guys. It is now the next day and we are home from a day in London. So I was just in London most of today today because today today <laughs> my brain is fried. I'm so sleepy and just want to like snuggle into bed. I think what I'm going to do this evening is instead of watch, instead of watch, <laughs> instead of watching Love Island on the sofa, I am going to upstairs and have like a bed evening. I, I sound like such a slug I know but... I just feel like London days are tiring with this, with this guy, this guy, this girl. I was in London because I had some brand meetings and I also have actually just started my pre-postnatal fitness qualification to add on to my PT qualification so that I can just, I actually want to know more myself but also so I can help and advise more with pre-postnatal fitness, get that qualification under my belt. So, yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing today. So it wasn't very vloggable. Thought we could spend this evening together because I'm actually home alone tonight, as I explained yesterday. And I think I'm gonna have a little bit of a pamper evening. And I'm also actually just about to make some dinner and I'm going to make a TikTok viral pasta bake. <laughs> And it's made with borson cheese. And if you guys have not had borson cheese yet, try it. It is so good. I usually only eat this at Christmas because it's quite like a, I don't know, it's a cheese board kind of cheese. Yeah, when I saw this TikTok going around with this, and it's a really, really easy recipe where you just basically pop it in a tray bake and put your pasta in. I was like, there is no question we are going to try and make that. All of our ingredients today are, we have some chicken, which is kind of, well, actually, in the recipe, they do use chicken, but I don't think you really have to for this. You could easily do it without. But essentially, what it is, is cherry tomatoes, borson, then we've got some herbs to put on our chicken to season it with. And we've got some garlic and olive oil. And that is essentially it. I'm also going to top mine with parmesan because I love a bit of parmesan. But yeah, and pasta, of course. First up, we're just going to whap in a... Mm, you know what? I'm going to put a little bit more in because there is nothing like a juicy cherry tomato in a pasta dish. A little bit extra on the tomatoes. Then we're going to pop in our whole chunk of borson. What I love about this recipe is I feel like it just visually looks really pleasing to like make because it's so simplistic. And when this is cooked and we blend it all, oh, so good. <laughs> now we're just gonna add some pepper and a little bit of salt. Then we're gonna squeeze a little bit of garlic in there. As we know, this is one of my favourite things to do, so I'm going to get it in focus this time. Oh, isn't that just so satisfying to watch, isn't it? Dollop of olive oil. And basically, we are going to pop this in the oven for 20 minutes on 180 degrees Celsius. While that's baking, what I'm going to do is boil the pasta, fry the chicken and the herbs, and then I will be back to mix all together and make a shebang TikTok special. Right, while the pasta is cooking, I just thought we'd go upstairs and do a little bit of tanning. And en route, I've just poured myself a bowl of these. I saw them on my way home and I was like, you're coming home with me. <laughs> I'm gonna do my tanning routine. Wait, let's pop these fairy lights on because I always feel like these fairy lights do not look nice when they're off. They just look like, wild hanging wires on my wall. Hmm, the other thing I wanted to do, I wanted to show you, because I won't be vlogging on the weekend when I wear it, I got myself a birthday dress. 
on the weekend I'm going for a meal with my friends for my birthday and I want to show you this dress I feel like this dress is a little bit out there well it's not it's just very bright isn't it and I was like it kind of looks like a nighty off but on it doesn't because of the shape of it and the material so it's one of the skims like really nice fitted dresses but it's really really soft and stretchy and they're really really good for that and this is from their valentine's collection so she did like this little lace top on lots of the items but it isn't actually supposed to be sleepwear <laughs> shall i show you it on quickly and then we'll turn yes i'm gonna try and time this well so that my pasta doesn't burn <laughs> this is the dress on i've obviously got some <laughs> socks on right now but i'm gonna wear like little sandal heels I think but I know it's a, it's kind of an acquired taste I guess because it is very bright but it's so comfortable I was just pleased with, with my little purchase <laughs> I just think it's such a nice dress re, 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 re. but I'm not sure I'm actually going to apply it with you today because I kind of just want to do it quickly and it's much quicker to do it naked <laughs> um but I just thought I'd run through a little bit of what my tanning routine is because I feel like I've really got a good a good thing going and I think it, it just kind of works really well and like the amount I exfoliate and moisturise and stuff with it means it lasts ages. But basically, the tan I usually use, it's the Bondi Sands Pure range in the colour dark and it's a completely clear like liquid tan. So I was a bit thrown by that when I first started using it because I was worried that because it's clear like how am I going to know where it's going because usually tans have a, a guide colour to them but it just blends really well compared to a lot of tans. I've used this for years now and it's also um, got no like digestive biscuit smell so it's really really good but this isn't a partnership with Bondi by the way, although I am an ambassador for them, this isn't part of it. I realised when I was starting to describe the tan it does sound a little bit like it but... Um, but anyway, what I was going to say is they actually have just launched this new one and I tried it on Sunday night and it's the same but ultra dark. I love how this bottle looks as well but it's so good. This one does actually have a guide colour but it's still got the like no smelliness and it's like liquid as you can hear but it kind of foams up a bit as well but yeah really really like this one too i think i'm still going to mix between because sometimes it's just nice to have it clear and like not worry about it going on your bedding and stuff so basically what i do is on sunday i have my self-care bath evening and i'll kind of exfoliate do a face mask a hair mask i was thinking because it's slightly a changed as well since being pregnant and the different products I'm using now I thought maybe we could do that within a vlog at some point of like my full sort of pamper routine but I never know if those kind of things are a little bit boring so let me know if you'd like to see like a proper pamper sesh where I take you through everything and all of that but yeah usually what that's what I'll do on a Sunday evening is I'll have a bath and exfoliate all of my tan off with an exfoliator mitt and then I will moisturise when I come out of the bath. And the moisturiser I've been using. Do you know what I realised as well? I have always been so rubbish at moisturising. And I, I know how good it is for your skin. But I'm, I've always been so rubbish at it. And I'm really glad I've just been a bit more conscious at doing it now. But it also makes your tan last so much longer and get less like dry and flaky for obvious reasons this is the one that i use i just get it from boots and it's really good pop that on after my bath after i've exfoliated and then about an hour or two later i'll do a layer of the pure tan and then usually every night i'll moisturize and oh and then usually midweek i will apply a second layer which i'm going to do today and then yeah that lasts me the week and it does a really nice sort of like goldeny tan I love it but that's why I always have loved Bondi's colour because it's very gold and just such a nice tone um, and particularly the pure range is my favourite moisturising every night makes such a difference to your tan can't fault and actually I found that it, it exfoliates off a lot better than on the Sunday as well but anyway that's my routine I'm gonna get naked and tan myself and then finish my pasta
the moment of truth. Do you know what? The original TikTok viral pasta, which you may recognize this whole sort of method from, is the feta instead of the borson. Right now my house smells like one big garlic. I completely forgot how garlicky borson is, but let's see if it's actually nice. It's quite saucy for me for a pasta. That's the only thing I quite like a pasta that I don't know, isn't like overly saucy. You know like when you have a carbonara and in some restaurants they make it really saucy and creamy, like I don't like that. I prefer things to be a bit fresh and like, I don't know, the sauce is like not taking over, if you know what I mean, and this sauce is <laughs> taking over. Maybe a bit more pasta would have been good. <laughs> it is nice, <laughs> but it's very garlicky. So I feel like if you didn't have any tomato on your fork on each bite, <laughs> maybe a little bit overbearing. That is the only thing. Borson is some strong old cheese. So I don't know if I'd make it again. <laughs> it was worth making once <laughs> and I'll enjoy it tonight. I just don't think I could probably eat a lot of it because it's quite rich, but you just need to make sure you get lots of tomatoes in there. And I think then you'd be all right. This actually make them kick back because <laughs> I always see people do this and I've tried to get her to kick again but I don't know if it actually does help but I just actually visually saw a little kick and I wish I captured it on camera because I want to show Niall it too but she seems to be chilling char grinning now <laughs> but I wish I could show you as well but honestly the kicking is just my favourite part of pregnancy by an absolute mile. I just find it so mind-blowing. And um, my sonographer told me on my scan the other day that my placenta is an anterior one, so I think that's why I feel her so much already. I mean, everyone's different, but I do feel really lucky that I feel her so much because it really, I don't know, it's just the most insane thing and it just blows mine and Niles and my mum. My mum felt it on the weekend. It was so cute. I just can't explain how crazy it is just seeing little kicks in my belly. Like there's a little, there's a little person in there right now. It's just crazy. It makes me so emotional and I just love it so much. But she doesn't seem to be kicking anymore. So I'm going to stop filming my belly. <laughs> But anyway, I think I'm going to finish up this video here. I'm currently watching The Simpsons, but I just turned it down because I thought... Anyway, it's it's one of those annoying back. sounding programs, isn't it, The Simpsons? But it just makes me feel really relaxed. <laughs> I love it so much. Even Niall, he's been struggling with his sleep again recently. And it's just started getting better. And if we leave The Simpsons on really, like, quietly when we go to sleep and he thinks that it's helping him too. So anyone struggling with insomnia, whap the Simpsons on it might work, it worked for Lyle. But anyway, I am gonna love you and leave you. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. I will hopefully see you next week for another one. I realize I didn't really, not that I have to, but I didn't really chat much on fitness in this vlog and I do like to try and keep all my fitnessy bits within my vlogs, but um, obviously because of my birthday, it just has been a little bit of a slightly different vlog, so I hope you don't mind that, but I'm determined to keep kind of documenting my fitness alongside my normal day-to-day -day vlogging as well, because I love it. And I love this new challenge of being more tired and changes within my body and sort of sharing it. So I hope that you enjoy seeing those bits as well. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are all okay and I hope you're all having a lovely week. Please let me know how you are in the comments and if you did enjoy this vlog and what you might want to see in my next vlogs. And I will hopefully see you very soon for another video.